stir your love file, you know. She was always fussing with her bangs and tail. I'll bet she grows up to be a celebrity stylist. That's less an indicator of interest in hair and more of a symptom of anxiety. Can cutie marks misread social cues? I sure wouldn't want to be up to my flank and mane hair all day. Sweetie Belle, do you often use such uncouth language when Rarity's not around? And what's not to like about apples? There's the core, and sour apples, and This is apple territory, Scoots. Your blasphemy is punishable by death. The real nightmare is this castle. Those are way too many questions to answer all in one night. Then too bad, be a better pony, that's life, who cares, no, and here. That was all the answers in a few seconds. It's only because AJ doesn't want to spend a few minutes to deal with this that Applebloom has to experience the forthcoming torment at all. Watching one of the most boring parts of a character's day in order for the dream fake out to make any sense. Consider this a two-in-one sin for the what and the why. Either Applebloom got her cutie mark while sleeping in underwhelming fashion, or none of this is real at all. Both potentials are sin-worthy. Is this character's convenient entry a sin? Or does nothing count as a sin in this episode, since it's all a dream anyway? That kind of sin confusion deserves a sin. Pre-sliced apple. You ever hear of... Twitter mates? Boy, this show sure has a thing for Twitters and tweets. If one didn't know any better, they might assume there exists a social network by that name, full of annoying fans. Even the best of us yearns for the day they can move on to greener pastures. Subtle diss against the Apple family's pastures. You know the phrase, pinch me, I must be dreaming? That's because you're not supposed to be able to feel pain in dreams. All but this Twitter mites antennae disappears as it's sucked up. It may be a dream, but the fact these two appear right behind her and also manage to snatch her equipment from mere inches away should clue Applebloom into the fact something's not right. Look at the new bug pony! Diamond Tiara would be the one to use changeling racial slurs. Silver Spoon's shadow only appears momentarily. How nice of Applebloom's dream to provide this foreshadowing cutaway shot. Inner leg cutie mark and completely broken leg. This anatomy is problematic for a multitude of reasons only a cartoon could get away with. But most importantly, she's an apple to the core. In Equestria, roosters lay eggs. Okay, yes, dream and all, but that only makes it a sin for Applebloom's lack of noticing these things. A quiet horse whinny can be heard in the background. No doubt some editor pulled up stock farm sounds and didn't think anything wrong with using horse sound effects in a show called My Little Pony. We both sorta of got our cutie marks. What are they? Oh, we don't have time to go into all that! This episode is the ultimate tease. Okay, at this point, the show has to be making fun of nitpickers on purpose. AJ's hat, Applebloom's blanket, and literally all of the scenes blocking changes between shots. This sin isn't for any of those things, but rather, retaliation for an obvious personal attack on nitpicking. And you're gonna have to change your name. Your current name infringes upon the Apple family trademark. Cease and desist all Apple family related activities. The apple bloom of the mirror dimension doesn't blink and sink and almost exposes the conspiracy. This face is highly offensive and should be censored uh, that's better. You can thank this episode for making socks canon. Get it? Because socks cover cannons? Princess Luna waited off screen eating popcorn before finally helping out. The ground is clearly not moving during this running shot. Apple bloom's bow doesn't cast a shadow because that would have made it too obvious. Sometimes we can worry about a thing so much the fear can make us feel like we're trapped in a nightmare. That's all well and nice, Luna, but she literally is trapped in a nightmare, and you didn't answer her question in the slightest. I must be the only pony in the universe that's worried about her cutie mark. Applebloom states something that is obviously not the case, just to set up Luna's response. Luna taking Applebloom to her friend's dreams is a serious invasion of privacy. Remember when Sweetie Belle was into singing? Her fear of giving up this passion did come true after all. Scootaloo is having a dream where she's literally drowning, yet seconds later in the shared dream she's completely composed. We're still asleep? Cool! This is the most heartwarming and heartbreaking moment of the entire show. There ain't no call to worry. So don't you cry or fret? Ah yes, spontaneous and thematically appropriate singing. This is no dream, this is the real world. What are the odds Applejack says almost the same thing she did in each of the nested dreams? Unless... A good night's sleep cures just about everything. I just wish it hadn't been so exhausting. Granny Smith is the only one not confused by that, because she is secretly Princess Luna herself. Applebloom's name is missing a space. Must have been the same space which found its way into Equestria Girls. Why don't I just wake up? Applebloom, what's this all about? Oh, nothing. See? 
Now, what did I tell you? A good night's sleep will fix just about it. Th th 